So for today, we're going to be looking at Horfrost D. This did get asked for not too long ago. I do apologize for the length of time it took me to make these videos, but I am starting now and I know a lot of people are going to be excited for that. So I do have to explain a few things just for those of you who are new and have not watched my previous exotic videos because this is the first one that we're going to be dealing with. So when it comes to exotics, I usually like to put them in two camps. Does it have ornaments or does it not have, have ornaments? Because if it has ornaments, I usually just make one set each. And if it doesn't have an ornament, I make two to uh, equal it out. So, so that way it doesn't lose to the ones that do have ornaments. Just so that way, again, it can equal out. So this one is going to have two sets. If you're interested in one, let me know. I do like making these videos. It's just, again, uh, just a lot of stuff happened that I just kind of forget about the exotic videos. So that's why I'm going to really try to start doing these a lot more because I do like making them. And I do know that it helps a lot of people because some exotics are really, really hard to make looks. Specifically, Horfrost D took me quite a while, at least the second set. The first set really came to me real fast and I'm really proud of it. The second one is cool as well. It's just not as fast as the other one. So let me know what you guys think. Other than that. Glacial fortification. When using the stasis subclass, your barricade becomes a wall of stasis crystals that slows nearby targets when created. Standing behind this barricade will grant you and your allies increased weapon reload speed, stability, and range. So yeah, that's a lot of people use this exotic when it comes to like their stasis builds because if I remember correctly, you build three, no, is it three or four crystals on each side? So like eight to, to 10, no, six to 10, I think it is six to 10 crystal or six, six to 10. We'll just say that because it's probably eight, but I don't remember, I remember off the top of my head, but yeah, it's really cool because a lot of the builds that Titans have is through crystal generation. You destroy your crystals, you get a certain amount of overshield, uh, X, Y, Z. There's a lot of things that you can benefit from crystals. Um, so that's why Titans uses quite a bit, especially when they want to be really, really gross. Because again, you, if I remember correctly, one of the builds is there's an, there's an ability that if you destroy crystals and great, get the crystals that fall from it, you can actually gain overshield from it, which is really gross. And again, this is connected to your barricade. So you're going to be getting that quite a bit. So overall, I like this exotic quite a bit. Uh, I should use it a lot more, but it, I have like my bread and butter builds that I just go to. So I do really need to start branching out to other exotics just to like really spice it up. But let me know if you guys like to use this exotic or not. As for how it looks, I think this is the not the most unique exotic, but it is one of the most unique exotic in the game for me just because it is not like everything else. Uh, everything else usually has a thing to it. This one is just electrical and there's like a fucking wind turbine in your like left chest piece. Other than that, it's a really weird exotic like look wise i don't think it's bad because again the set that i made kind of made me look at it in a different way and i was like man this exotic can look fucking good so i know some people are eagerly waiting for that but we have to go through this first uh yeah look wise it looks really cool very unique shadering i know some people might not like it there is a lot of off and main colors to this one as you guys can see from ancient wisdom you guys will see that there's a lot of gold in there but also a lot of the off color which is that like really light like brown color uh i don't know if i'm the biggest fan of it to be quite honest it makes shadering it really annoying but that that being said if you use armor pieces that have a lot of multiple colors into it then it's pro probably gonna look really really cool echoed anger looks really cool with it I do think Abyssinian Gold looks really weak with it because of the brown color of it. I just don't never really like it. But then we get to something like Cryptic Insignia. And I do think Cryptic Insignia looks really, really cool with it. Like actually really good with it to the point where I actually would probably make a set with just the shadering alone. Let me know what you guys think about the shadering. Like I said, I don't think it looks terrible, but you definitely have to like work around it. As for the example sets, if you guys notice my voice is different, I had to re-record re this after the fact because uh, I ended up getting a comment that the video audio came out really janky and yeah, unfortunately it did happen at this mark. But for this one, we're going to be looking at Thunderhead Helm for the helmet, Veritas Gauntlets for the arms, for the boots, Onyx Strangler Greaves, and Thunderous Impact for the mark. I definitely love how this came out. Uh, the shadering Dusted Tome looks really, really amazing with it as well, surprisingly. I say surprisingly because... I wasn't expecting it to just look this good. So 
let me explain a few things. The reason I'm using the Veritas Gauntlets is because I wanted to really maintain uh, a heaviness or like an evenness to it because the chest piece has this really weird like off horn thing on the left side and I wanted uh, the arms to be heavy on the right side so that way it can equal it out. And Veritas Gauntlets was the first one that I thought of and I'm happy I did because it looks really, really cool with it. For the boots, Sonic Strangler Greaves, the reason I'm using that is because uh, I wanted to have some plate armor in there and I think it really goes well with the Horfrost Z. And then for the Thunderous Impact, I really like, I just really like this uh, mark, especially when I combine it with like really uh, mechanical looking stuff just because it looks really cool. And then the helmet, this one is, the reason I'm using this one is because the Thunderous Helm has a really or the thunderhead helm i should say has like a lot of blue at the bottom and it goes really well with the horfrost z like the neck guard it's all blue so i just wanted to maintain that blue on the helmet as well so overall i'm like the biggest fan of this set i so much so that i actually am using this on my horfrost z build which i apparently have one now and i'm really really enjoying it that's been I should also say I did get a comment saying, oh, where's the Graviton forfeit uh, build? And I have been thinking about just making a build for these fashion videos as well. So that way you guys at least have some somewhere to go with. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. But for this one, the next example set is a little bit different, still mechanical, but a lot different now that I'm actually really looking at it. So for the helmet, Kogan beat helm is what I'm using for this. The Kabir's Brazen Grips for the arms, Legacy Oath Greaves for the boots, and then Enduring Conqueror for uh, the mark. So a few things to note. Uh, the Legacy Oath Greaves, specifically that red on the right hip, does not change color. That's actually the color that it comes with. So for me, I immediately thought of Polycarbon Powder because that has that red tech, that red color. It's not a one-to-one -one cause I do think the mark one, the red on the mark is a little bit darker, but it's all, it's so close that I really don't care about it. And the only thing I can really judge this set with is the fact that I think it would have been better if I, the arms were heavier on the left side, as in if it was asymmetrical and more heavy on the left side, just because it would have evened out a little bit that being said, I still think it looks amazing. Uh, the polycarbon powder is the only reason I'm using it is a I, I actually do like the shader quite a bit, but it's because of the red. I wanted to match with that red and enduring conquer mark just had that stripe of red, which I thought was really cool. So yeah, a few things to just change would just be the arms. Honestly, the arms would be the biggest thing I would change because I think the helmet does a job really well. That being said, you can definitely switch it out for something else if you wanted. But overall, let me know what you guys think. I really, really like how a lot of these came out. Uh, a few things to know. I'm recording this after the new season out. So be aware, I, I'm going to be making a lot of content. This will most likely be coming out um, today, most likely, just because I want this video to be out right now. So that way I can get started with other videos because I'm already working on a lot of things. Actually, I have Destiny on right now. I can show you guys, but uh, I have a few things that I'm working on in the pipeline right now. So first and foremost, all of the armor for all of the classes for the new stuff, hunters are, it's already done for the hunter, the Titan and warlock. I just need the class item and then we'll get started on the example sets, the armor review and the shader review. The only thing that's going to be problematic is the fact that my shadering, at least for me is wonky. So all of this should not be here. It's all like mixed match, which is really unfortunate. So that's just going to be, yeah, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to go kind of slow with this so you guys can read what it is, or I probably just do it as fast as I usually do it because, uh, I, yeah, I do it pretty fast. I don't know. It's just annoying that these shaders are kind of wonky, but yeah, we're going to be working on that. Obviously we're going to be working on the season pass armor. Once I get it, I'm, I'm currently level 10. But once we, you know, get this armor, we're definitely going to start working on it because I do think a lot of it is fucking wild. Uh, and then after that, we're going to be working on, like I said, we're going to be working on a lot of fashion this season just because uh, last season I really, really fucked myself over quite a bit. We're going to be working on the raid armor, 
the, the rain armor from Crota. Definitely going to be working on that. We're going to be working, like I said, on the seasonal armor. And then we're going to be working on this armor over here, which I definitely am kind of annoyed that I haven't gotten it yet because it looks super cool. But this armor, I'm pretty sure it's playlist armor. So we're going to be working on this as well. So just overall, a lot of armor, a lot of exotic videos because I've gotten two exotic uh, armor armor pieces that people have asked for. Uh, so I'm going to be working on that as well. Again, like just so much stuff we're going to be working on and not just armor alone. Mind you, we're going to be working on on uh, shaders as well. My biggest annoyance from last season is the fact that I didn't go over. At least I don't remember going over the shaders from from the season pass or the playlist shaders from last season, which is, again, a really annoying thing that I didn't do because uh, I was just I wasn't even busy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I just I don't know what happened. I just uh, time went away from me. But dragons teeth. Let me see this real quick. Uh, OK, so, yeah. Uh, I don't want to take too much of your time. I appreciate you guys coming to this point. Uh, as for you, as the usual, the shader for this video will be polycarbon powder or poly powder, carbon, poly, any just mix and match those words. And I will know that you guys have watched up to this point. But other than that, I really appreciate you guys just sticking with the content. Other than that, be safe. I will see you guys later.